there's a really stupid new controversy as well that's going around based on an out of another out of context clip which is this controversy surrounding entrepreneurship as a fundamental feature of the party. They're trying to claim that because we're promoting entrepreneurship for chapters to raise revenue, to function, that this is now a multi-level marketing scheme. That's the word they're using. By the way, that's defamation. You're accusing us of fraudulent activity. You're accusing us of something we are verifiably and empirically not, by the way. Because these idiots don't understand what a multi-level marketing scheme is. A multi-level marketing scheme is about making money by selling the product to the salespeople themselves. So you basically have someone buy in and then you tell them to go make money for you by having other people buy into it. So actually the real multi-level marketing scheme are these organizations in the U.S. that only care about recruiting more members so they can get more dues. That's the real multi-level marketing scheme. Because if the only way you're going to collect revenue is from dues, you are now financially incentivized to bring in as much people as you can to overlook qualifications, overlook excellency, overlook whether or not these are the most advanced fighters of the working class because in order to operate as a party you need money every party is a business if you don't have money in a modern capitalist country you there is no chance there is no chance you can exist politically none we don't have roy singham the billionaire's money we don't have a billionaire bankrolling us we don't have anyone bankrolling us so what do you want from us you want us to just be a dues collecting party like like all these other organizations we see the type of culture that that promotes recruitment drives recruitment drives recruitment drives they measure the success of their party our party it's it's hard to join our party right now you can't even fucking join it just because you want to first of all there's a queue there's like there's like a hundred people in the waiting list it just in the queue that are actively in the queue there's another backlog of i don't know 300 200 people who aren't even brought into the queue yet okay it's hard to join this party we made it hard we only accept the best of the best we only accept the most skilled they're claiming oh you're promoting entrepreneurship so it's a multi-level marketing scheme in that very stream VOD, so I'm saying they're taking the clip out of context, I clarified all inter-chapter initiatives will be very, very closely monitored and will require approval because of scams, and we're not going to allow scams or pyramid schemes, which means party members are not the fucking ones who are going to be buying what's being sold. Whether you're selling services, whether you're selling whatever, the customer is not party members. We're not selling. The leadership is going to sell merch to the members. We're also going to sell you uh, subscriptions to the magazine. Yeah, yeah, it's very neoliberal. You know, call it, call it neoliberal. Go ahead and clip this out of fucking context and claim that we've embraced neoliberalism. Because what we're actually doing is giving chapters the choice. For example... You don't even have to subscribe to our party journal. It's just that if you do subscribe, you'll get physical copies. So it's an opt-in, opt-out thing. The same thing is true for merch. You don't have to buy the merch. You can have the choice. So we're giving chapters a lot of financial freedom and flexibility to make decisions on their own about you know what they want to do, what they don't. And that's going to be decided at chapter levels. You know, promoting cooperative businesses, which is what chapter entrepreneurial activities are, is not a multi-level marketing scheme. And I, I'm sick of these fucking hypocrites trying to pretend like money is dirty and entrepreneurship. Oh, that, that's petite bush. That's impure. Then where are you getting your fucking money? Every communist party in history had business fronts to fund operations. You think money comes out of thin air? To survive in this world, you need money. 
You're so righteous. Why? Because you're what? You're in fucking college. You're not even paying for it. No, no, no. We're gonna have. We're gonna be pure. It's to exist politically, you need fucking money. And what we're doing is a million times pro-social than what they do. They do mass recruitment drives where they get passive members and they just collect revenue from them. Meanwhile, what are we doing? We're encouraging pro-social, pro-community, entrepreneurial initiatives where it's going to be pro-social forms of businesses that are not just about making money, but are cooperative and are heavily, heavily based in the community that they're that they're operating in they're doing good works for the community they're doing charity for the community they're doing every business is going to be used as a machine to fund all political activities community outreach everything like when you think about it it's a great thing that this is being done finally we're a communist party that we're we're above we're above making money really but you're not above taking people's fucking money are you you're not above getting fucking dues are you you know money that's generated from capitalism that you're taking that's 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 totally pure but if we ourselves start entrepreneurial businesses to fund our activities this is impure let me explain something very carefully okay we are not going to take power in five to ten years. We're going to be around for a long fucking time. To exist in this society in the long term, you have to have an economic basis to exist. You have to have a foundation to exist. You understand? And that is an economic foundation. If you don't exist economically, you don't exist at all. If a communist party doesn't exist economically, they don't exist at all. And CPUSA can sit on their fucking high horse while they own multiple buildings in New York they collect rent from, and they have $50 million in their fucking bank account. $50 million that they're sitting on. And they sit on that and you're going to sit in judgment of us trying to fucking make a dollar to fund what we want to do? And Roy Singham gives the PSL $12 million? And we're just supposed to do what? Expect money to fall out of thin air? Fall out of the sky? If you want to operate as a... You have to be part of society in some kind of way. You have to be part of your community in a tangible way. CPUSA in California runs under the table illegal apartments. How fucking crazy is that? These these disgusting so-called socialists, they're so above capitalism that they don't even fucking think it's necessary politically that like like the Democrats and Republicans, they just all of the money, where do you think it fucking comes from? We don't have the ruling class on our side. If we had billionaires backing us, we wouldn't need to start businesses. Fucking stupid. Yeah, we don't even collect dues from our... We're a multi-level marketing scheme, but we don't even collect dues from our members. And we're a multi-level marketing scheme. Because we're telling our chapters, hey, instead of just going to protests and LARPing that you're on the verge of overthrowing the state, spoiler alert, you're not. Why don't you actually fucking organize... In a way that can fund... Why don't you have a presence in your communities to make a difference politically? Why don't you have a tangible piece of the fucking pie so that you can actually have leverage and influence? You know, why don't you actually prove you're capable of doing work that pays for your existence? And which simultaneously pays for actual political initiatives, not just taking signs to protests and yelling. What's the point of a political party if it's just a protest apparatus? That's what the PSL is. It's a fucking machine for protesting. Give me a single... I mean, we're already reaching out to unions. We're already reaching out to unions and, and, and in, informally working with unions already. Several chapters are, all right? But how do you get the fucking free time to do that full time? Unions are businesses, okay? 
We're not taking the money from the unions. How do we have the ability to organize full time? Where does that come from? They think communist is just like a, it's just like a, a moral superiority, and I'm oh capitalism. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go straight for the Prager U shit. Oh, you're a communist? What about your fucking iPhone, you bitch? You have an iPhone, don't you? Since you're above all... You're claiming that communism means being above all entrepreneurship and above all economic activity. Look at your fucking iPhone in your hand calling us a multi-level marketing scheme because we actually understand a communist party needs to make fucking money. We're not even ma we're not making it off our members. We're not making any money right now. We just think that chapters should be efficient and self-sustaining. They should raise revenue themselves to fund their operations. Yeah, pay a dues-based organization is way closer to being a multi-level marketing scheme than anything we're doing. Because the whole point of multi-level marketing schemes is to rip off and make money from the members themselves. How are we doing that when we're collecting nothing from them? And it even says in that clip, we're not taking, again, nothing's finalized. We might actually have to do dues temporarily. Because there's things we have to fund, we don't have the capital for it. There, for example, we have to fund uh, full-time work for some of the uh, executive board, okay? whose workload is extremely high, but there's no way to do it full-time. We have to fund the party journal, okay? So we're seeing about what we can do. We're considering our options, but don't even don't even discuss it because this is this is convention stuff, right? This is stuff that you're going to wait for the convention for, which is going to be in uh, October. But it's like, we don't take anything from members. And we even said, only when you're self-sustaining, we'll tax you. We'll tax you. We'll tax you when you have surpluses. When you can generate, sur when, what does a surplus mean? You can sustain your chapter, your initiatives, and your members. Once you can do that, we'll take a cut. What's wrong with that? How is that not, how is that worse like the, the the a real scam, you know, not even a scam, a more harsh organization would be like, okay, every chapter owes us one thousand dollars per month. Find a way to make it, we don't care, but you owe us that much money. <laughs> That's the MMT way to generate revenue, right? Because they think taxes are the source of all economic activity. But no, we're not doing that. We're only gonna take money from you if it's made through the party. We're not taking your hard-earned money that you're making at your fucking job that we had no part in securing for you whatsoever. We're not taking that money from you. At least not now. Okay? Or, or, or it's not our goal. And again, we are going to sell merch. And we're probably going to sell the physical copies of the manifesto. And may, it's going to be free to members, the manifesto. It'll be online, free to the members, obviously. But the physical copy will sell to you. So there you go. But if money is involved, somehow it's a scam now. Fucking stupid. How fucking stupid is that? If money is involved, it's a scam. Automatically. Even though you need money to fucking survive. <laughs>